Hey guys, welcome into another Valorant guide with your boy Soy. Now this week, we're gonna be doing something a little bit differently from the start. We're gonna play a game. Now, I want you to write in the comments below what you think is the most underused, overpowered gun in the game. And is it going to be the same gun that I'm going to be talking about in this video? The first person to get it right in the comments is gonna get a shout out on next week's video. So get your comments in, first person wins. Also, don't just skip ahead in the video and find out what that gun is and then just cheat because... Anyway, let's get into this week's video. All right, it's time to play... Who's that? Valorant. It's... The, uh, Guardian. If you guessed the Guardian, then I've got good news for you. You are a five head giga chad with a brain that's just way too big for your head and you are ahead of the game. I'm gonna go into a few tips and reasons why the Guardian is the most overlooked and most overpowered gun in the game and why you should be using it significantly more. Number one, it's a free aim trainer. The Guardian is a gun that you're going to see a lot of pros using and there's one simple reason why. It forces you to slow down and actually try and hit headshots because spamming with the Guardian doesn't really work that well. It's very similar to buying like a sheriff on a pistol round except this sheriff has ADS which is aim down sight which makes it even easier to hit headshots. When you're using the ADS you actually have better recoil and better bullet spread and your crosshair actually follows the recoil making it easier to make those micro adjustments to go back to that person's head. Basically, the Guardian is like an operator and a vandal had a baby and ain't nobody putting that baby up for adoption. You also get 12 bullets per magazine, which is more than enough to get a couple of kills and then hide away and reload. You also get a two and a half second reload speed, which is the exact same as a phantom or a vandal. So with all this information, how do you use the Guardian effectively? Well, a lot of people don't use the Guardian because they think it's just a poor man's vandal. That's completely wrong. You shouldn't be looking at it like that. You should be looking at it like a nerfed operator. And if you start using it like that, you'll start understanding exactly what the devs were going for when they designed this game. I mean, gun. They did design the game too. The Guardian does the exact same damage to the head, body, and legs, regardless of distance. A headshot does 195 damage. That's a kill, insta-kill, one-shot headshot, regardless of who you're playing against, what kind of shield they have, what their health is, it doesn't matter where they are, that one bullet headshot is death. A body shot does 65 damage, which is two bullets to kill someone with light shields, or maybe three bullets to kill someone with full shields, or even one bullet to kill someone with just low health. Trust me when I say this is an Eco Demon's best friend. Also, leg shots do 49 damage, which is still pretty high, but you don't really want to be aiming for people's legs. So for the people who don't use the Guardian because they think it's a scuffed vandal, well, you're wrong. And I'm going to go through a few reasons why right now. Number two, the cost. The Guardian only costs 2250 creds. That's 650 less than a vandal and 2450 less than an op. You're literally getting a one-shot headshot kill from anywhere on the map for less than half the price of an op. This is the eco gun that everybody should be using. I don't know why they're not. I do personally watch a lot of pro play in order to just learn and grow myself because you never really finish learning when it comes to games like this. And one of my fellow boomers uh, by the name of Hiko actually uses the Guardian quite a lot and he uses it seriously effectively. It's actually unreal. He uses it more than anyone else I've seen and he's pretty consistently top fragging and he's also a five head boomer. So what Hiko does is on eco rounds or sometimes even full buy rounds, especially if he's not playing a duelist, he'll sit a little bit further back. He'll either camp mid and watch mid looking for those one tap picks or he's gonna be watching his team pushing site and he's gonna cover angles with the Guardian itself. This works especially well if you're playing a Sentinel or Initiator and it's not really designed to be running in headfirst as a duelist, but uh, you can also do that if you like. For eco rounds, if you're going to be playing like this, you shouldn't be using a Spectre because it's basically useless over 30 meters. Uh, you could be using a Marshall, which I 
wholeheartedly agree is a really, really, really good cheap eco round gun. However, the burst rate is really slow, which means that you're gonna find it really difficult to cover your teammates pushing site. You might be able to cover mid of some sites though, or maybe a flank, but as soon as people know you have a marshal, they can really easily push you and kill you. Whereas if you have a guardian, you have a significantly faster burst rate, you're going to do a lot of damage and you're going to be able to cover your teammates entering site from multiple angles with the ADS and without the ADS. So what I recommend is on half buy rounds or eco rounds that you're buying for the next round itself, you should be buying a guardian because not only are you going to be saving money, you're also going to be training your aim at the same time for free. Well, maybe not free, like 20 to 50 creds, but basically free. A quick side note, the Guardian used to cost 2,700 creds. That's 200 less than a Phantom or a Vandal. And then it went down to 2,500. And now it's at 2,250 because the devs are trying to balance it so that it's actually used in the game properly. And for some reason, people are still shunning it. It is the cheapest one tap headshot gun you will get in this game, except for maybe the Sheriff, but that doesn't have ADS. That doesn't have a magazine. It doesn't really have as good a burst rate. It's just not as good, maybe only for pistol rounds. Number three, agent selection. This is my last tip and pretty much only applies to Jet, maybe Rayner and Chamber. If you're playing one of these typical opping agents or an agent that just uses an op effectively due to the util that they have, this is basically a free op or at least a cheap one. You buy the Guardian, you go for the exact same shots that you would go for if you had an op and then you can just dash away or TP away or just disappear into the night. It's the same thing with Chamber. You can go from using his sidearm, which is built in and has ADS, into a Guardian, which has ADS, into his ultimate, which is an op. You're basically using ADS the entire game. That is amazing. And you have his teleport. Other than that, he's a pretty average agent, I won't lie. You don't only have to be playing these agents in order to use a guardian. I'm just showing you that there are a huge amount of variables and a huge amount of different ways that you can actually use a guardian effectively in order to just maximize your kills and improve your aim at the exact same time. It doesn't have to just be on eco rounds. A quick side note, eco rounds or half buy rounds or buying for the next round sometimes people will say is just a way of buying less armor, less expensive guns and less utility, but still being able to play that round out and hopefully get a win. But you're mostly buying for the next round itself. Ideally, you want to have 4,200 creds for the next round so you can buy everything you need to buy. Although that kind of changes depending on the cost of the agent's util that you're using. But roughly look at 4,200 as the benchmark for how many creds that you want for the next round in order to at least buy a Vandal or just buy a Guardian. So yes, it doesn't have to be just an eco round gun. It can be a gun that you buy for a full round, for any round. I've played so many games where I've almost gone Guardian only. And the only difference is I've slowed down my kills and actually ended up with more kills because I've been focusing on hitting clean headshots and then dismissing away or whatever agent I'm playing using my util to help me get those kills at the same time. My headshot accuracy goes through the roof when I'm using Guardians because I'm not spamming. You pretty much can't spam. You can try and spam with the Guardian, but the bullets come out so slowly that you realize it's better to just take your time. So what this then does is it carries over to when you use a Phantom or a Vandal and instead of going for those sprays, you again go for headshots and you slow down and you go for burst firing and things like that. The Guardian is the ultimate aim trainer while still getting kills and being effective in the game itself. So the too long didn't read of this whole video is basically buy the Guardian more, use it more, use it on eco rounds, use it on full buy rounds. It's going to help improve your aim. It's a one tap demon of a gun and it's severely underutilized. I would not be surprised if this is a gun that gets picked up more and more as I've noticed a lot more pros are using it. And then the price is probably going to creep back up to maybe 24 or 2500 again, because right now it is the cheapest, most efficient effective gun in the game by a mile, by a mile. Actually, I'm Australian, by a kilometer, a whole kilometer. Also, because it's so cheap, you'll be able to buy it almost every other round. You won't really have to do as many eco rounds. You're pretty much gonna have a full buy with no shield or low shield almost every round. 
Anyway guys, that's it. Quick video this week. If you got anything from this video itself, hit the thumbs up button, drop some comments below. I'd love to read any of them. I reply to all of them. Thank you so much for watching. As per usual, I will see you all next week. If there's anything that you want to see, let me know and I will work on it. So thank you so much again and peace out from your boy Soy.